Welcome to 2024. Can you believe that we are finally here? This is the time of year that we love to look back at the past year and reflect. And recently, I was just skiing in Crested Butte with my kids. And we were out to dinner one night, and I said to the kids, so what did you love about 2023? What are you really proud of? And, they, and my son said, no, no, mom, let's talk about what went wrong. Let's talk about the bloopers, the things in the year that we really struggled with and that were hard. And so it was great. We reviewed our rejections, our mistakes, our failures, the places where we were stuck and unhappy, unsure, uncertain, scared. We covered the whole gamut and we all did our whole real and life review. And what we uncovered is that there was a theme of usually two things that happened every time we hit a roadblock in our life, something we weren't expecting. There were two things that we learned. One of the things we learned was that we really need to reconsider what we were doing and make a different choice. That we were getting a rejection or a failure or a discomfort because we weren't really going down the right road. And that we needed to stop and reassess and decide a different path. And so that rejection was showing us, this isn't the way you need to go. You actually need to reconsider and go a different way. So that was one thing we learned. The second thing we learned from our rejections, our failures, our mistakes, was that we weren't good enough. Is that the world, that life was telling us, you're not ready. This isn't enough. You need more skills. You need to grow your talents. You need more expertise. You need more support. You need more help. You need something, but you're not ready. And so when we were getting pushback on whatever it is we were trying to achieve, we were being shown that there was more we needed to do. There was more we needed to grow around. So when you look back at the year, here's the tip. Look at the things that didn't go well. Look at the places where you stumbled, where you were confused, where you literally got rejected or failed or made some big mistake. And then take the learning. Learn what you need to do differently. Because if you don't, you're going to repeat that pattern again in 2024. And you want 2024 to be rise, to rise above and make it even better, not repeat the mistakes from 2023. So enjoy the exercise and I can't wait to hear what you find out.